Welcome to Remtech. Today we're going to be unboxing the new Ombus S4 with thread. Also supports matter. Is this really worth having inside your home? Let's get into it. All right, let's get into the unboxing. All right, let's cut this open and let's see what we got. We have our instructions. Also the matter code, quick start guide, and some more literature about the product. Now the moment of truth. Let's see what this thing really looks like. Nothing else inside the box. This is actually kind of smaller than I thought it would be. There's your power button to turn the device on and off. An LED light, which would indicate if the device is on. This is what the back looks like. And obviously the, uh, the front of it. This is only a 15 amp uh, device, so it only support up to 15 amps. So keep that in mind. Now that we've done the unboxing, I just want to remind you guys one more time that this only supports up to 15 amps. So just keep in mind that 15 amps only. I don't want you guys to run into an issue where this thing all of a sudden stops working because you guys are drawing more power out of it than it only supports. I'm also gonna do a little comparison on a couple of devices just so you guys could see other things that are out there, um, out on the market. Um, some are gonna be Wi-Fi, some are gonna be Thread. Um, I just want you guys to know what's out there. And here is a Wemo, which supports Wi-Fi. And a Miros that supports Wi-Fi. Two great products. I haven't had an issue with them. Um, but unfortunately, I'm trying to get everything to thread. So these devices here, I am trying to get rid of. I don't want them on my network. I don't need them anymore. I am trying to switch everything over to a thread-based product, which Avis offers. I also have another device here that is also thread uh, capability, which is the Eve. And just to kind of like show you a comparison on them, they're pretty much the same size. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, this is a little bit smaller, and if I turn them both side by side, the Eve is also a lot thicker, um, and you can actually double stack both of these if you needed to. Um, they will fit in an outlet, no problem whatsoever, but like I said, I am trying to get rid of Wi-Fi devices and start using red devices so if you're trying to build a smart home on a budget I'm just going to give you guys a comparison on price difference on the two thread products that I have 20 bucks for Dombus $40 for the Eve for 20 bucks how can you go wrong supports thread matter does not use Wi-Fi which is key keep that in mind if you're trying to build your thread network 20 bucks, how can you go wrong? Also, you would need your HomePod Mini or another Apple device to be able to support this, or else this will run on Bluetooth only. So I'm gonna give you three pros, and unfortunately there is one con that I do not like about this device. But this is, the con is my personal opinion only. All right, pro number one, price. How can you go wrong for $20? device that uses thread also two matter support i don't need to go out and buy four other devices to get them to different platforms i could just take this one device and be able to get into all four different platforms which is amazing especially running with matter my other pro is that this does not use wi-fi 
which is key, seeing that I'm trying to get everything that is Wi-Fi off of my Wi-Fi. My con is that this does not have energy monitoring. Unfortunately, this does, and it's $20 more. So do I think Ambus should have added it? Yes and no. I mean, they're trying to keep the price down, and for 20 bucks, how can you go wrong? But like I said, my con is my personal opinion. And if you're just getting into it, I would highly recommend getting an Ombus, especially if you're building a smart home on a budget. I do not see anything wrong with this device here at all. I think that for the price that you're paying, you, you're getting more of a great product on it. Um, Unfortunately, like I said, I just want to know what's being plugged into this device and want to know how much energy is being drawn off of that device. So I could basically monitor how much energy usage that is being pulled from a lamp or a fan or anything like that. It, that's just my personal opinion. So please drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like. And um, I will see you on the next one.